Is there anything that you would do differently to your next off-road build adventure vehicle? Hey, this is Luke with Rig Supply. This is my Forerunner. Uh, Rig makes the Ultra Swing, which is that swing away tire and bike carrier. We can talk about that more in a minute, but I wanted to give a rundown on the Forerunner. So starting off, um, we've got Fox and Camberg suspension, Fox 2.5 DSC uh, shocks, and Camberg upper control arms. Uh, C4 sliders. Uh, I'm a big fan of these sliders also because this is a really great step. So if you need to get anything off the roof, super handy. Um, sometimes I carry surfboards up on these uh, crossbars up here. Just makes it that much easier to get on and off. And they also offer really good protection for the vehicle. For tires, general grabbers, these are 34s uh, on VTX Rebel rims. And moving along, as you can see, there is an awning. So you need shade, there it is. This is the C4 hybrid bumper. Um, we've got a worn Xeon 10S winch tucked back in here and Factor 55 Ultra Hook uh, Baja Designs Squadrons just providing some extra light. So, one of the most asked about items on the truck is definitely the tent. So, this is a Go Fast Campers rooftop tent. It actually has a direct mounted kit specifically for a fifth generation Forerunner. And what makes that such a cool system is that it's really low profile. So if I'm on a road trip, headed up to Whistler, stopping in Seattle and I need to get in a parking garage, this thing will actually get in most parking garages, even with those additional crossbars that I use to mount surfboards. Um, I've had a, little, a lot of other rooftop tents and having a roof rack with a tent on top is cool, but as soon as you try and put other things like surfboards, it becomes really hard to utilize all of that space efficiently. So this was totally the solution that worked for what I like to do. The other what, cool thing is you do have this side extrusion where you can mount things like a shovel. So this is my mullet patrol. So it is a 2018 alloy patrol with mixed wheel size. Really happy with it. If you haven't tried a mullet setup, try it because it's worth it. So. The ultra swing. So the story behind this was I wanted a way to swing away my bike rack and also carry a spare and carry some other items that I pretty much always take with me on trips. And this is what I came up with. So, all right, so we have a two part latch system here, main compression latch and a secondary safety pin. Swing it out of the way. Cool thing too is when you don't have a bike on there, there's actually a built-in stop. So you could shove this as hard as you want and it'll never hit your tail light with the spare tire. Um, definitely one of the most popular add-ons is this camp table. So fold down, it's really dirty right now. Slide out cutting board, just a great prep space. And then you still have a lower receiver here so you still could tow something if you needed to, or also it's a really good recovery point. So if you plug in a hitch link and you need to get pulled out of something, it's also a great space for that. And it is tow rated to 10,000 pounds. Dude, so you could just basically ride and barbecue after. Ride and barbecue, that's what we're here for. So there's also a pin here. So if you want to lock this in, in position, there's four different hole positions here. And what makes that cool is if you are ever cooking on this and your buddy's had a couple beers and he knocks your bike, that doesn't move and spill all your chili off onto the ground, so. And the bike rack can go into that. That's so rad. Yeah, it's all hitch mounted. So uh, another huge question we get is, does this thing wobble? Uh, obviously it is mounted in a hitch, so. We spent a tremendous amount of time 
building a wedge system that gets really, really tight inside that receiver. So we have other videos on our YouTube channel if you want to check it out of off-road use, getting, getting some air in some cases, and how this thing does not move. So a couple other notes. The wheel plate here is actually adjustable, so you can maintain really good rear visibility out the back. And if you don't need to carry a spare tire, there's preset holes on the front for carrying extra fuel or water, or you can actually just put an entire cargo box on the front. Um, so there's a lot of versatility there. The goal is really just carry a bunch of extra stuff, swing out your bikes, and do that in a, in a really simple lightweight platform. So the whole carrier itself only weighs 65 pounds, so super lightweight too. Yeah, opening up the tent, um, you can get in from a few different ways. So I just like to have use my built-in ladder. This is a C4 Summit hatch ladder. Um, and it's also great because it does have side mounting for extra fuel. So to open this tent up, pull these levers, push that. I added this handle, it's made by Skosh, it's pretty cool. And you're done. Whoa! Even with five surfboards mounted on those crossbars, the tent will still pop open. So. It's pretty cool to just be able to leave everything on the roof, put it open, sleep in it. It's also kind of an anti-theft mechanism when your boards are that high up. So yeah, and it's a great, comfortable sleeping solution. I'll show you guys the inside here. It's probably really dirty in here. The guys at work will give me crap about it, but uh, I got my Dometic fridge, CFX 50. This fridge has been awesome. Um, just kind of the right size for me and my small family, one kid and a wife. Um, carries everything we need for a good long long weekend trip or or maybe a little bit more definitely a long trip by myself um, is there a freezer in that setup yeah so it's fridge or freezer it's, it's single compartment so you just have to set based off what you're carrying um, but you can go to freezer mode got some trail tools back here but uh, also under here I do have a goose gear plate system so this is what I use to secure my fridge down using tie down points that just screw in. Um, a lot of guys do slide outs and, and much more sophisticated setups for the interior, but for me, I just wanted something super simple. Um, as you can see, I kind of just use this forerunner more like a truck bed. So I just wanted a flat surface that I can bolt things down to. And so the goose gear plate's been great. And then he's also got a ton of stickers up here. I have to ask you, which one's your favorite? Definitely this one. There we go. Powering the fridge, I went ahead and just swapped the stock battery for a deep cycle group 34 battery and then ran just one hot wire back to here. So that's how I charge it. Um, I also do have a, the Dometic PLB, which I've been really happy with. So. If I need more than just running off the deep cycle, which is good for about 24 hours, I'll use the PLB, which I've ran for over three consecutive days in fairly hot weather. So that's a really great system too, and super light and portable and use it for all sorts of stuff. So we did move locations and I do want to ask you, so you have mountain bikes, you have a bed, so you obviously like adventures. For people who are on the whole adventure program, they normally end up going with that thing. Why'd you go with the Forerunner? Yeah, so for me, a few things. I mean, on a practical level, I have a wife and kid, so we aren't living full-time out of a van, although you could definitely live out of a van full-time with a wife and kid. Uh, but owning a business just wasn't really in the cards for right now as much as I think that would be fun. Um, so a Forerunner as a daily driver works really well. Also. Being able to go off-road and having no limitations in terms of where you can get to is really cool with a 4Runner. Is there anything that you would do differently to your next off-road build adventure vehicle? Uh, probably buy a van. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to list everything in the description of the video, but a lot of people are going to have questions for the ultra swing setup. I really, I mean, uh, the whole cutting board is really awesome. Uh, how can people find that? Like, where can they buy it? Yeah, so you can check out our YouTube channel at Rig Supply. Is it at Rig Supply for YouTube? No. 
Ma what is it? We'll, no. we'll put it right. We'll put it right here. It's not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we do have a YouTube channel, Rig Supply. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Rig Supply or our website, RiggedSupply.com. Rad. Well, let's go ride some bikes. Let's do it. Phew. Also, Luke sold me my first mountain bike ever. Yeah, buddy. That's <laughs>